Okay, something new and exciting has happened here in Eckminster. We now have a new rider plane, something different. So this is a 62. This is based on an old Stanley design. So this is sort of my uh, first chance to look at one of these. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. So we take it out of the box again. Really nice to pack these in to store it. You get your paint shop, your spare blade. Okay. The box we can just put out of the way, so again, that'll help stop it going rusty. Now I need to get into this and have a look. This is the rough paper to stop things tarnishing the transit. So move that. A little bit of oil they put on to protect it. So let's just wipe that over. So where actually is it? In theory, giant block paint. Much bigger. So we take a little rubber. Similar sort of thing. So the blade on these is set at a low angle. This is about 13 and a half degrees, much lower. So the body with all the planes that we do is that high dark tile iron. That's very durable, so it won't tend to break or crack. Normal grey iron tends to break, but you'll get a fracture line down the mouth if you drop it. I'm not saying throw these about, but should last a bit longer. Wooden handles, nice to grip with again. Plastic handles aren't nice to feel. So our cap iron comes off, that's brass. Oh, blade. This is very chunky, almost quarter inch thick. Sharpened, 25 degrees with 30 degree cutting edge. Major bit of the plane then, let's have a look. We have adjustable mouth, so we undo the knob. A bit like on all the block planes, we can open and close this to have more support around the shaving. Stop the tearing. Inside the body, nicely machined area to hold that blade in. Adjustment wheel, blade goes in. Let's just have a quick look on this. That feels pretty good. The only thing I might do, straight out of the box, let's give it a light home. Just over on the lever. Then back in. Get positioned. The other nice thing with these is the size of them makes them very durable. So the 62 is actually an old design based on a Stanley thing. Give an idea of the lap comparison. Same sort of length as a number 5, so it's kind of just a smoother. So we've got our number 5, got the 62, you can see the comparison of the length are about the same, so they're both a smoother. The laid angle, a lot lower, so the low angle smoother makes it easier to cut with. So we we'll get rid of the 5 for a minute. 62, we put our blade in, we need to position the blade, we can wind it forward, so we've got the winder. Let's see where we are. That's a cut, it's out of the box. A bit heavy, let's come back a bit. Another thing I might do, go back to our little setup block. So we're at the moment cutting on the right hand side, we're not cutting on the left. There's no lateral adjustment on here, so we need to a bit like tap with a hammer. A little bit more, still cutting the left hand side. Let's just pick that up. Okay, so should we we'll just come forward a little bit now with the blade. Get our shaving. Okay. It's quite nice. See if we can back it back a little bit so we wind this back. Need to undo the clamp. Just trying to see how fine a shape we can get off of this. So let's have a look then. Pretty much there. So as we said, this is pretty much like a giant block plane. With the blade being set to that lower angle, it makes it easier even to do what I'm doing now, painting down the grain. Would it be in like a big block plane? We can go back to shooting board techniques. We can play with our grain. So we want something nice and square. We can play it across the grind. Get a nice clean surface. The other thing we said to you about earlier, that adjustable mouse so at the moment. It's very open. Bring that back. That will reduce the amount of tearing off the wood. Let's 
Really nice little pie. Very durable, very useful. There's no round technique or plane to use. Good for going down the grain, good for doing the egg grain. So that's the 62.